Today we're going to be talking about G-code holsters. So we got a new sticker for the safe. Let's put that right there. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Tactical Talks. So this week we're going to be talking about a holster that I've had and new holster clips. So I was gonna do holster clips. I talked about this last week on Tactical Talks. I was gonna put these new holster clips on my Bravo concealment holster. However, this one right here is my favorite holster. I've talked about this a million times before. If you guys want a holster like this or from this company, from a buddy of mine, check out Concho Valley Custom Kydex. I'll have them linked down below. Um, there's nothing wrong with this holster. I love this thing. Like I said, this is my favorite holster, but I'm looking to see if I can upgrade this thing. Um, I found these clips online from G-Code. If I remember, I'll link them down in the description below as well. I don't have any other holsters. Um, not, the, not because I didn't want to spend the money or anything like that, but because like I said, I already have a holster. So they do sell the, their clips. These are patent pending clips that G-Code came up with. They're angled. So what that's going to do is these clips that are on here now that are straight keep the gun straight but when I put this on there like that once this is on my belt what it's gonna do is kick the gun the top of the gun more in towards my body and hopefully help conceal this a little bit better so you guys have already seen holsters on people as far as appendix carry so we're not gonna go through all of that what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna change these clips out for the g-code clips and then what we'll do is we'll put the gun back into the holster and then I'll put it on the way I would normally wear it on a day-to-day -day basis and we'll see if this made any kind of difference. Now this gun has been cleared for those of you safety freaks out there no magazine inserted. Um, this is kind of I know a lot of you guys that have guns carry guns you have your favorite holster. I'm not telling you what holster to go with what holsters are the best I've used a bunch of different holsters, and for me personally, like I said, my buddy's holsters are my favorite. Um, I'm a little bit biased for the simple fact that I know him. I send him a text message, and I tell him, look, this is exactly what I want, and I get it. Um, a lot of these other companies, you message them, you email them, and it takes days, you know, sometimes weeks to hear back. And then you say, this is what I want. And then a lot of times you hear, well, if it's not listed below then we can't do it or we don't have it in stock. My buddy is really good about, I throw random ideas at him and he makes it for me. So the customer service is amazing. The person is amazing. The company's amazing. So that's why I'm doing a review on clips and not on holsters. If you want to go get a holster, if you already have your own favorite holster, whatever the case is, good on you. If you're looking for a holster, go check them out. Like I said, you're not going to be disappointed, but that's why I'm not doing another holster review. I have a holster that works amazing. Let's just see if we can make that amazing even better. So I'm not going to bore you guys with the details of me taking apart clips and putting new clips on the holster. So we're going to go ahead and fast forward through this. All right, and there we have it. So these old clips that were straight and set very low, which in turn made the gun sit a little bit higher, um, have now been traded out for these G-code clips, which are gonna push my gun down a little bit lower, as well as push it inward towards my body. And it should make this even more concealable than it was before. So give me a second, we'll get this thing mounted up, and I'll show you guys what this right, looks guys. like. So the gun is still clear, but what I did was, I put this mag extension on my gun. This is the biggest one that I have from my Glock 43. And the reason that I did that is because I noticed when I put that on there and I put the gun back into the holster, that the magazine was very close to this clip because of how high that clip sits. Now I can still get my two fingers in here to draw, and this isn't a magazine that I'm going to be carrying while I appendix carry. This is my backup mag. But I wanted to at least test out to see 
if that was going to cause any issues. Um, I don't think it is. But again, I just like to look at everything to make sure that we're not going to have any issues. So let's go ahead and put this on. When I appendix carry, I primarily just carry right up here in the front. So I'll move that out the way. And we're in. So just like that, we're locked on. My belt is a little bit looser right now than what I normally carry it. But I just wanted to at least show you guys that's what we're looking at. So if you look and see, I'm not carrying anything special. I'm not wearing anything special. I have a regular t-shirt on. I'm not a small guy. So I just wear regular t-shirts all the time. And I can tell you right off the bat, I can feel more pressure from these clips pushing up against my body as opposed to regular clips that I've had on every other holster that sit up and down. So again, I'm not a small guy. I got a little bit of a stomach. You can see the gun is pushing up against my torso there when that's down by its side I mean the shirt just hangs there's no printing now as far as drawing goes um, the gun sits lower I can feel that right off the bat which is a good thing initially I want the gun to sit lower I want it to be more tucked and out of the way but before I start using this holster I am gonna have to start getting used to drawing with this holster because what I normally did was I grabbed the gun. I got a nice good purchase on it. So I don't like that. I'm telling, I'm telling you right off the bat. This is the first time I'm putting this holster on. You guys are seeing this as it's happening. So I don't like that already. Now, I like how this feels. It feels nice and comfortable. The gun is a little bit lower. I like how it looks. I'm not printing at all. No issues. Drawing may be a problem. Now, if I'm taking my time drawing, I can come in. I can get the gun out. It is what it is. Now, if I wanted to do a quick draw, something like that, that's something that I would definitely have to practice because with this holster right now, the way it sits, as low as that gun is, that pistol grip is sitting right on my belt line where my pants are, so that's gonna cause an issue. As well as with this mag extension, I already can't get my hands back up in here. So, it is what it is. Um, let me know what you guys think um, is this something that can be worked around? Is this a, an issue? For me, I'm not sure yet. Um, I can draw the gun. I don't do competitions. I don't have to draw my gun in a certain amount of time. Now, in a life or death situation, of course, I want to try to get this gun out as quick as possible. But when it comes down to it, as long as I have a gun on me, that's going to be quicker than having to go run and get a gun or just run away and not be able to do anything. So when it comes down to what I can get the gun out. Now, this is the grip that I ended up with. Obviously not ideal. I'm gonna have to readjust as soon as I come out. But it's quick, or quicker than not having have anything on me. Again, I'm 50-50 I'm right now. I, I can't recommend these and say these are the latest and greatest, the biggest thing, the biggest, baddest things I've ever seen. But I can't say that I dislike them because again, it, it's there are positives and negatives. I am really considering getting a G-Code holster now and let you guys know what my initial thoughts are on that and then maybe carry that around see how I feel. This is my initial thoughts on this, my initial, you know, the first time I'm putting it on and it feels amazing. It feels good, everything's good, but like I said and I'm gonna keep saying, I just don't know how I feel about drawing and having to readjust my grip, so. How do you guys feel about it? Is that too big of an issue for you? Do you have to have your gun out in that split second? Uh, like I said before, the faster I can get my gun out, the better. So I'm not saying that this is the best thing and I'm not saying it's the worst thing. So that's kind of where we are. G-Code Clips, like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description. Um, I think it's an awesome idea. Maybe not 100% made, obviously, for this holster, but I mean, it, it looks kind of crazy, but it works. So let me know what you think. Comment down below. Thank you guys for watching Tactical Talks, and I'll see you on the next one.